How small is Earth? Is humanity's planet nothing more than a mere cell in the boundless universe? In the solar system, Earth is the third planet from the Sun with an equatorial circumference of over 40,075 kilometers. To fly all the way around it by airplane would take about 44 hours of continuous flight. For us, that already seems enormous. But compared to the big brother of the system, Jupiter, Earth is insignificant. Jupiter can contain over 1,300 Earths inside it. If you tried to circle Jupiter by plane, it would take around 20 days. Even more staggering, the Sun has a volume about 1,000 times greater than Jupiter's, or roughly 1.3 million times that of Earth. To fly around the Sun, you'd need at least 200 days. This massive ball of fire, with its eight orbiting planets, forms the planetary system we call the Solar System. In 1990, on Valentine's Day, Voyager 1, then 6.4 billion kilometers from Earth, received a command from NASA to turn around and take a picture of our planet. That photograph became historic, amid the pitch-black vastness of space shown a tiny, faint dot, our Earth. That dot occupied only 0.12 pixels of the entire image. Astronomer Carl Sagan gave it the now-famous name Pale Blue Dot as a reminder of the smallness and fragility of life on this planet. When Voyager took that picture, what were you doing? All of humanity, all of history, every achievement was contained in that single tiny point. Yet even the solar system itself is just an extremely tiny part of the Milky Way galaxy, a galaxy with 100 to 400 billion stars. In that vast collection, the sun is just an ordinary pinprick of light. If we imagined the entire Milky Way as a gigantic city, the solar system would be a house in the suburbs and Earth would be a speck of dust within that house. But it doesn't end there. In 2003-2004, the Hubble Space Telescope pointed its lens at a tiny patch of sky in the Fornax constellation, gathering light for a total of 1 million seconds to create the image known as the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, one of the most distant photographs humans have ever taken. In that image, nearly every bright spot is an entire galaxy, other Milky Ways, each containing hundreds of billions of stars like the Sun. It's estimated that in just this tiny region of sky, there are about 10,000 galaxies, even though the area photographed is only about one-tenth the size of the full moon as seen in the sky. 